and try to slow Stella down. If I see anything yellow here, just get rid of it because I'm going to get 10 <laughs> bonus points if the police um, storm the plane. Hi everyone, it's Taryn. And Stella here from Meeple University on the Dice Tower. Thanks for joining us. Today we'll be doing a pocket playthrough of Hijack by a tabletop simulator. The game was designed by Christian van Dyck and published by Greenest Games. We are using a prototype copy here of the game and so the rules and artwork may not be final. Let's play Taryn. Hi everyone, so here we are for our pocket playthrough of Hijacked. So you can see we're uh, set up here on tabletop simulator. And we've got a number of things going on here. So the story of this game is that we are negotiators. And this plane, which is sitting on the tarmac at this airport here, uh, has been taken over by some hijackers who are down here. So uh, these represent some of the passengers, but ultimately the passengers are these cards here. And what we need to do is try to negotiate for the release of passengers and pilots, um, all the while negotiating... Notorious hijackers. Yep. Um, and we've got to try to do as much of our work as we can before the police storm the plane. Um, and the game can end in two ways. It can end when a player has uh, released three of these passenger tokens and a pilot, or when the police get to the uh, stairs over here and they board the plane. And at that point, uh, whichever way it goes, we'll count up our scores and whoever's done the best job of this uh, pre-negotiating phase will be the winner of the game. Here's your chance to negotiate better than me, Tarrant. Yes. <laughs> um, all right, so get back to the game. Yes, so this is a <clears throat> it's a quick playing dice. little game. It's a, it's a dice worker placement game. And our turns, you'll see, they're going to be quite quick. So on a turn, uh, the active player rolls two dice and then takes actions with those dice. And these are all the uh, worker placement spaces here. And some of the actions require one die, some of them require a specific die. So here, for example, uh, you can see it says number one to six, but it relates specifically to this card, which requires a number one. Um, we've got an action down here. This requires a one through six to gain a resource, but each of those resources requires a specific number. So it's all about what the numbers can give us. Then we've also got action spaces, which will take both of our dice for a turn. So for this space over here, you would need a low number and a high number. If you play them both, you get to uh, take this action. And then at the end of your turn, you take your dice back, so you're not blocking the spaces out for your opponents. Um, in the game, we have various resources. These are called demands, demands that the hijackers are making. So we've got uh, three basic types here. There's crypto, which is money. Uh, we've got food and we've got medicines. And then we've got intel down here, which is uh, a wild. That uh, can represent any of the others. There's a couple of other different actions going on here as well, but uh, we will start to see them as we get into the game. Uh, one last thing to show at the start is up here in the top right corner. There are some objectives for us to try to gain. A few extra points there uh, in the form of medals. So the first player to get uh, two steps on this track over here, thumbs up track, uh, will get a medal. The first to have 10 demand tokens in uh, held in supply will get this middle one. And the last one is that objective that will trigger the end of the game. Three passengers and a pilot. All right, so let's get into the game. Let's do it. Um, I am the first player. You are. I've got this uh, grumpy looking first player <laughs> guy down here. I'd buy the Miko, by the way, if you yes. 
haven't already noticed it. It's very, very great. Um, the Mikos art is very noticeable. Yes, trademark. Very, very familiar. Great. And uh, we are using Tabletop Simulator here. We're using hot seat mode. So uh, we will be uh, clicking this button and you'll see whose turn it is each time. All right, and the police are going to advance at the start of every round. So at the start of every one of my turns. All right, so first turn. I roll the dice. Two four and four. And two. <clears throat> All right, so first thing I want to do, a major part of this game is set collection of passenger cards. And so that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to put this two here, which I need to do uh, to use this number two card. Now, how this is going to work, uh, with, we're negotiating and talking with this passenger, so I'll flip that passenger over, but the passengers in the seats either side can hear what's going on. So they become uh, visible and available for any player to take. Let's uh, zoom in on those. So now that, now that those are available, they can be taken with any number of die. Now, this passenger here, I now get the chance to uh, gain that passenger card. But if I look at what this card needs, I would need to spend crypto, as shown in the bottom right corner. And I need trust between the negotiators and the hijackers to be 80% or higher. At the moment, it's zero. That's over here. We haven't even started negotiating yet. <laughs> so I can't take this card into my hand. What I can do is discard it, and then I get one point. So, a little consolation point there, but I've started to make some passengers uh, visible. Now, my second action, I would, I could potentially, uh, I would meet the conditions for this passenger card. Needs no trust, and needs food which I can gain with my wild intel. But I can only take one card per turn. So what I can do is reserve this card with my second die. Um, that means I'm, I'm making sure Stella doesn't get it, or I'm reducing the chance that Stella gets it, because Stella could steal it from me with a 4, 5, or a 6, which would mean I would lose this die. But I want to get a, a kickstart on, so I'm going to place this here and reserve that card. Right. Uh, this one here, if you notice, this is a, a fairly annoying passenger <laughs> who just gets in the way of negotiation. And so all this passenger does is loses us trust with the hijackers. But we don't have any. But we have no trust at the moment. And you know, sometimes if trust is getting too high, you don't want the other, high, the other player to be uh, taking turns when the hijackers are very trustful. <laughs> That's it right. Gives them a benefit. So there's a bit of a balance going on here. In any case, that's my turn. That's my first turn done. All right, and now it's your turn. Indeed. All right, I am always starting with the roll of dice. Oh, come on, good dice. Five and four. Aha, I roll higher than four. You reserve one. Mm. So with that one, that means I can go there and then steal this from under you. you take that back for your next turn. That's very annoying. Sorry, Taryn. And then I will take this um, for my collection. Thank you very much. And then I've got number four here. Yep, that yes. gets replaced. And then dice number four, I will just go here to take this die. Now, this is an extra action dice that I can use once for my next turn. And that's my turn ends. Sorry, Taryn, I had to steal your a passenger, reserve passenger. But you can get another one, as we'll see, hopefully. <laughs> Take your dice back. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, start of the new round. The police advance one step forward. Uh, their starting position on this track is going to depend on how many players there are in the game. All right. Let's give it a roll. Four and three. All right. What I think I will do, the passengers didn't work out for me last time. I'm going to start trying to build some trust. So I need two dice over here, a low one and a high one. Oh, sorry, that was a three. It just yes, tumbled, I saw off that. The, yeah. tumbled off the thing. Um, so in this bag, there are 12 green cubes that represent trust and three red cubes, which do not. 
And what I'm going to do is draw up to three of those one at a time, stopping when I get a red cube. And that's going to increase trust. So there's a green cube. One. We have trust, I get a point. There is another green cube. Ooh. Increased trust. And I get another point. Now I could keep going, um, but on the score track, I have just reached a space with a star. And having done that, I can stop there and gain a reward. And what that will let me do is take the next one of these rewards from right to left. So I'm going to get a bonus mini die, which I will be able to roll and use as a normal die next round. Just one, one round only. Yes. So there we have it. I've gained two points for all of my great negotiation work <laughs> and I've got an extra die to, for the next round to make up for that one that was uh, stolen from me. Karen, you're still winning. you three and I'm zero. I have to do something here, everybody. Let's see with my three die if I can get something, everybody. All right, we've got three, six and another three. I want to try to go there, but I can't because I need to have the same score as Taran, which I have zero. So I can't go there yet to yes. win this. I am going to try a different action that we haven't seen before, is to negotiate with the hostile hijacker. So I'm going to use this number three here. So each of them has got different requirements. You need to put two dice of the equal amount, which I have, three and three. So I'm gonna start with this one. Yes. While the other one is one, three, four and six and so on. So I'll activate that, getting myself one point for doing that. Yes. And because I've done that, I will put my counter. Yes, this is your communication disc. You've now got a direct line of communication to this specific hijacker. Yeah, and then I will change this, or I will turn this to number one. So I have to do it four times to, to get to win this negotiation, I should say. Yes. So what these do, you're gaining one point per time you do it. Yep. Um, and only Stella can now talk with this hijacker. But once you've done it four times, uh, each hijacker has a scoring objective down the bottom of it. So for this one, it is scoring a whole lot of points at the end of the game based on how many demand tokens you have left over. So Stella's going to try to gain this hijacker and then hoard demand tokens. And demand tokens are the resources. <coughs> the resources, yes. Yeah. And I have one more. You do. Well, I have number six. I might as well use this to go here. Now, these numbers are drawn randomly at the start of the game. So Indeed. They could vary from one to six. So number six is to gain one of these, which is food. I'm gaining yes. a food resource. So already you're starting your resource hoarding. Ha ha. Uh, and that is basically it. That's all my three dice. So yes. I will return this one to the supplies, only one use only. Yep. And retrieve all my dice and it, it goes to the turn to Terrence turn. Okay, my turn. We'll advance the police again. They get closer. And I now have an extra die to play with. So let's uh, roll these three. Four, one, and five. All right, I want to start getting these passenger cards. And I don't want to reveal too many for you. So going on the edge uh, oh. <laughs> reduces the chance that you'll see more yellow cards to uh, build up this set. Sure. So I flip these two. And yellow card! <laughs> I revealed a yellow card who needs very little trust, and the one I'm stuck with is this scaredy cat who uh, is useless to me. So Sorry, Taron. Uh, he gets discarded. I don't even get a point when it's a red passenger. Sorry, Taron. And trust goes down 10%. So no, one of these yes. cubes goes back in the bag. We'll just reshuffle that. And do you want to reserve that? That's no, question. you'll just steal it again. <laughs> Fair. Um, 
and there's not a, I don't even see another way that I can reduce trust so you can't get it. So um, <laughs> I can't go building trust. You can get resources. I should get some resources. So a five is a good one because I get some intel. Correct. Give me some wild. Wild, yeah. <clears throat> and then with my leftover four, I will go and uh, can reserve the extra reserve a new bonus. It's handy. Yeah. Yes. All right, that's your turn. That is my turn. And the pink die. The pink die now goes back to the supply. Yep. All right. Always start with the dice roll. And I have one and two. Now, I forget something, everyone, sorry about that. So when I do, when I take this passenger, I should have paid food. Now, I didn't have this food before when I took it. So I would discard the wild one over here. Yes. Now I've got one and so that's just making up for turn one. Yes, for turn one. Sorry. So um, I should have just got this one. Now I was going to take this one, but I could not yet because I don't have the resource. So you see it needs medication. Yes. But I have number one, so I'm going to do that straight away. So I'll go there to get this resource and then I'll spend it straight away with number two to get this one because I've got resource. Now, now I have two of the matching color and I will discard this to get one passenger. Yes, so those uh those head to the discard pile, Thank still you. gets one passenger, and that's worth three points. Woohoo! I get three points. Okay. And that's pretty much my turn. Yes, so we uh, refill this, take dice back, and it moves to me. Okay, advance the police. Oops. Advance the police. Don't go too fast. <laughs> and we roll a dice. I've got three, three, and two. Um, all right, what can I do here? The turns are quick, pretty quick, isn't it? It's just like the two yes. dice, and then just like, pluck, 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 bang, 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 down. Yep. Yes, turns are very quick indeed. All right. What are you gonna do, Tara? I can, I can see, I can see something I can do here. I want to start working on this because there's potentially some very good points in this one. Um, but to take that action, everyone has to be on exactly the same score. Uh, it's this mechanism that this is how you keep the police from moving too quickly. Uh, but in order to make it happen, everyone has to kind of be working together. To make that happen. So this is how I'm going to do it. First I'm going to spend my two and hope to get the appropriate passenger here. So these both flip and there we go we've got a uh, uh, this uh, Howell reading a newspaper here <laughs> um, who is going to I can't meet this one needs doesn't need any demands but needs 70% trust. So as happened at the start of the game, I'm going to discard that one and gain a point. It's also revealed this one here with 100% uh, trust, so long time away from that. All right, then I'm going to... So something I can do with my resources is use them to adjust a die up or down by one. Because to use this action up here, if we uh, look more closely at it, you can see I need a low and a higher number. So I'll spend my intel to turn this three into a four, and then I'll place these dice up here. All right, so what's going to happen now? Every other, first the police go back two spaces. So that gives us more time in the game. Then Stella gains two points. So we'll advance Stella's cube to six. Thank you very much. Then I get to advance one step on the recognition track. And this could be worth a lot of points to me. So I can get this medal if I'm the first to two. Mm. And if the police do end up storming the plane and I have the most, I get 10 points at the end of the game. It's a good plan. I also get the uh, top one of these bonus tiles. So let's have a look at what I've got here. And what this will let me do, I can flip it at any time to get demand A and demand F. 
Uh, demand F is empty, so I'm just going to hang on to this until later. Eventually, I'm sure all of these will be removed and then refilled, and I'll get the chance to use it more efficiently. All right, then we refill this. And that is the end of my turn. So we'll pop this die back here. I shall take these back. And it's Stella's turn. Roll, roll, roll my dice to get hopefully a better result. Two and five, everybody. So I can't continue going there. But I can get resources. Remember, I'm trying to also hoard resources. And maybe I'll get this one as well. True. But you can only use that space once per turn. Because there is only one die placement there for it. That's correct. So between two and five, I'd rather get the wild intel, the wild resource intel. Makes sense. I'll use this one. Um, I could get, get rid of this passenger and then get one point. But maybe next time, next turn, I'll get more better dice, more use of this. So I'm going to do that. It's certainly useful because you need to essentially roll doubles three more times That's correct. To, to make the most of this. Yeah. All right, now um, onto your turn, Tara. Yes. Okay, advance the police. Roll the dice. Five and six. Good number there. Big high numbers. So we've got to... An, yeah, I've really got to start working on these passengers. So let's try... That's right. Let's, let's hope the right one comes out eventually. <laughs> I need someone who doesn't need a lot of trust. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Let me go oh, and grab five. it. Let me go and grab an intel first. Oh, before, that's actually a good uh, idea. Before doing this, all right. Let's do it. Forty percent. This uh, young child is not very trusting. <laughs> Forty percent, and then fifty percent is probably the mum. Maybe not. Sorry. Sitting one next point to each there. other. All right. So I discard that for one point. Reveal the new one. Sorry, don't reveal. Refill, and there we go. Still this turn. Three dies this time. Whee. Okay. Three, oh, three, four. Th yeah, I'm going to go there while I've got the chance to. So three in three will get me there. Gives me one point and turn this to number two. Yeah. And I've got number four, which I can also try to go there. Or I, no, I cannot get any resources. So I'm going to see what happens here and flip. Zero! You get a uh, very trusting Yeah, Yeah, I got lucky. There. Thank you very much. Let's reveal, I'm um, not reveal, reveal the next one. That okay. goes there and that is the end of my turn, Tarrant. That's, that's yours now. Okay. Uh, advance the police and then give them a roll. Oops. <laughs> Rolling your thing. One and four. It's time to bank up a few more uh, points with a high-low combo. Yeah, that's here, probably so. about time. Um, eventually, we need to get some of this. All right, so <laughs> first one is green. Yay! You get a point. Mm -hmm. And you get a consolation point uh, if you... Get red. If you get red on the first draw as yeah. well. Which is one point. Yep. Now, do I stop here and get... No, I want to I get the points. I don't want to fall Keep going, points, yeah. So. There's a second point, and there's a third point. So there we go, we're up to 40% trust. Um, I stop there, and incidentally, whoever is the last one to take it to 100% trust in the game will get the star, uh, which is worth five points. Very good. All right. Back to uh, me. Back to you, let me just retrieve my dice. Yeah, you've found the police this then? Yes, I have. Cool, 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 cool. Well, that's like a, a feeble roll, <laughs> but I got five and five, so I might as well go there while I can get me one point to eight. Now, this is a risk because Taron can actually go there and get the second one if he's also right, guys. It's true. Uh, maybe it's not a good time. Um, normally, I would say normally, it's probably not a good way to do it, but it's probably, I'll leave it for now for this playthrough. Um, actually, it's probably good to show this gets flipped and so on. So let's let's do that. So um, that is that is my turn. So nice and quick, and then now back to Tarrant. Okay, police advance. Roll the dice. And <laughs> that's lucky. It was looking <laughs> like it was going to be uh, one and one, one and or one, something but like we'll, that. We'll come up here. So uh, one and six. All right. So you gain another two points. 
You actually get the uh, the track bonus for that. Yep. So Thank there you, you go. Much. I'm giving you quite a lot out of this, but you I now advance more. to the second space Yay. on this track. Now so we can show, I get this medal. Yeah, I can show how it works with the medal. Now I keep this face down until the end of the game, and then I reveal it for its points. But let's just start. Let's, let's just peek. Hey, Ooh. I got the lucky ones. So it's going to be a random number between one and four. Oh, wow. Well, so I know. have four in game <laughs> points that Stella doesn't know about. Yeah. It's time for you to gain more good stuff. The like police it. go back two steps, and I get another one of these bonus tiles. And let's see what happens here. I can spend this at any time to take a free passenger, that is one that doesn't cost a resource uh, from the discard pile. So if oh, I'm struggling to get nice. the color I need to make my sets, uh, it gives me a, a flexible way of doing that. That's that's really nice. Yeah. All right. So now that I've got a pretty good lead on this track, um, I kind of want... This is where I can now start to uh, play the game and try to slow Stella down. Ooh. If I see anything yellow here, just get rid of it because I'm going to get 10 <laughs> bonus points if the police um, storm the plane. No! Okay. But there's a long way to go to make that happen. I better do something here because I might even be able to catch up, who knows? But mm. I'm, at, I'm at 10 and you are at 8. Mm. Let's see. If I can't rescue any passengers, you're going to make up that difference very quickly. I know, 2 and 5. So I can't go there to do that. And I can't start another... Oh, I can start another one, but that means I will be discarding my hard work already on this person. So with two and five, I'm going to go get, use the five again to get this. Makes sense. Yep. As you hoard your resources. <laughs> Indeed. When, what sort of hostage negotiator <laughs> keeps everything for themselves? No. It's not. It's keeping it on me until I need it for the greater purposes. That's sure. what... The type of negotiator I am. All right. Anyways, uh, that's it. I'm gonna do the use the second one to gain this die, and that is my turn where I retrieve all my dice to get back to you. And you can see the value of that second uh, that bonus die. It's not just that it defers an action to the next turn, but it gives you that chance roll to roll the doubles oh, yeah. or roll the combos yeah. you need. That's great. All right, your turn, Tarrant. Okay, dice rolling. Oops, pick them up again. <laughs> Two and four, so uh, two, I'm going to come down here and get a crypto. And four, I'm going to hope to finally get a passenger card <laughs> that I can afford. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh, it's a uh, moody, moody, moody girl person. in the corner who like scares the hijackers <laughs> with those pointy knees. I, I like her clothing, actually. So, yep. lose a bit of trust and gain zero points. Sorry, Tarrant. I am uh, I'm really bumbling my way through the uh, negotiation <laughs> part of my job. All right, it's my turn now. I'm just distracting what? police. You're just distracting the police. And speaking of, I distracted them so much, I forgot to <laughs> at the start of my turn. All right, my turn. All right, with three dice, come on. Get double number, double... No. One, a four, and six, unfortunately, everybody. But with number one, I can again hoard on the thing, or try to hoard, so I get this uh, resource, which is, was it medication? Yes. And I've got four and six. So looking at it, I'm at 10, 10 is not at 10. I can try to get some points here as well if I want to. You would need to spend down one of those resources to make a three into a four, four into a three. That's correct. Other options, I yeah, I can't get cannot do that. I cannot do that. You could get a couple of passengers who are face up, or you could get one and reserve the other. I know, I know. Well, this one is one hundred, which I cannot. This one fifty percent, which I also cannot. You would just be discarding them for two points. Mm. I think with this two, I'll just discard one of these and turn this into a three. Yep, uh, we can flip that one. Thank you. And then I will put this right here. You're delving into the trust bag for the first time. I will now, be. I don't think we reshuffled that. Let's uh, shuffle Let's it shuffle before that. we... Yep. Draw. All right. Oh! oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, no luck. So 
put it back, reshuffle that, and that is the end of my turn. The yes. The what? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, this one. All right. All right. I'm back to your turn. Okay. Advance the police. Oh, trust is trust is so low. If I let's roll and see my choices. Oops. <laughs> again, three and five. Um, I could try to go down here. That's true. But if I finished up, but it wouldn't be worth it. This is the one I can get, low high. It would be worth three points plus an extra five if I'm the first one to finish negotiating with a hijacker. That's not going to happen. You're almost there. So that is not in my interests. Um, so I'm going to... Build trust. You can try to build trust again. I could, but I need to get some passengers. I just need to keep trying That's to get actually those passengers. That's actually true. So okay. Let's let's do a flip here. Is this your lucky day? No, <laughs> sorry, Taryn. Who shuffled this? <laughs> oh, we got a edgy guy in seat forty-six. <laughs> edgy guy. <laughs> who just harms the trust? Right, I'm good at building general trust and then coaxing passengers into <laughs> destroying it. Whereas you're extremely bad at generating trust. Yeah, but um, but convincing passengers. All right, you got number three now. Oh, number three. I can't do anything with that down here, so I'll uh, go and get the bonus die. Okay, that is my turn. Back to me. Let's see what I've got here. And I've got a double, yay! All right, finally. I will take this to here. So put both of the double here, get myself a point, and complete the negotiation. So let's stick over to that again. I'll get my disc back. I might as well get the, the dice back now. And I will take this to my area. We reveal a new one. Yes. And because you um, ended on a star on your score track, you also get that uh, pizza. Exactly. So very good. So you have now unlocked that end of game scoring benefit. Um, however, we lose two trust with the rest <laughs> of the hijackers. It's one. Uh, because you convinced this one off the... I went zero. So. Oh. <laughs> We're back to zero again. Yeah, no one trusts us. We're back to zero. So we'll we'll finish the pocket playthrough there, and you can see the number of different ways you can go about things. You can work with the hijackers directly. Uh, you're you're constantly getting rewarded with points. You're getting points for building up the trust, but then you're making it easier for other players uh, to gain passengers. You can you know try to keep the scores level and then get those bonuses on the recognition track. Because if you look at where the board is set out right now, we're about to we're about to go to here, and we haven't really met, uh, rescued very many passengers at Correct. all. You've and the trust is low, so it's going to be a while. You've got one card waiting, so you need to get another yellow card to get another passenger off, or two yellow cards to get a pilot off, because the pilots cost three matching cards. I haven't successfully picked up a passenger at all <laughs> Sorry, in, uh, Tara. in seven or eight rounds of play. So yep. this is... Um, but you get good points here in here. You, you're going to get points. Only, and but points. only if the police storm the plane. That's actually true. And there again, it's in my interest to just keep the score ticking, but also uh, speed the game up. Yeah. And I'm trying to get to 10 as well. That's probably is my strategy. Five. And so on. And so on. When the game is over, we add up all their hidden scores. We add up uh, end game scores on the hijackers. Uh, you also get penalized for uh, passengers that you pick up off the board, but then never put into a set Ooh. to rescue a uh, wooden passenger or pilot. You get penalized for those. So it's high stakes right to the end. Yeah, indeed. So uh, that's it, I guess. So hopefully you enjoy that and um, check out Hijacks on crowdfunding. Yes. Bye. And that's our pocket playthrough of Hijacked. We'll put a link to the game's project page in the video description so you can check it out. 
If you find this video useful, please help us by hitting that like button and subscribe to the Dice Tower if you haven't already done so. And if you have any questions, comments or feedback, please leave that in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.